All right, we are joined by Michigan State head coach Tom Izzo, Tyson Walker, and Marcus Bingham Jr. Coach Izzo, we'll start with an opening statement, and then we'll take questions for the students. Coach, the floor is yours. I love Indianapolis, and I love March. How's that? And, uh, you know, I, a lot of credit goes to these guys. I mean, it's, uh, you know, we all know it was an interesting year, but um, I thought to do what we did, meaning play the defense that I thought we played, not turn the ball over after five or four early ones, um, start going inside to my big guy who finally stayed inside was very important. And uh, point guard play went between him and AJ. I think they had one turnover, he had zero, he had seven assists. Um, and then we just had some guys that sprayed in there, Joey Hauser made some big plays. I thought early on uh, Julius Marble kept us alive. Max Christie did a hell of a job defensively and made some plays. And uh, Gabe had a couple key rebounds. I mean, it was nothing. Offensively, it was uh, something that probably would make Dick Bennett and Bo Ryan proud. It was uh, typical Michigan State, Wisconsin. Um, first guy to 50 wins. And uh, I got so much respect for Guard, the job he's done uh, with a team that nobody predicted. Um, that's a really good basketball team. And I, I give us credit because I thought we did a decent job on Johnny, you know, and he is something special. But I'm sure his injury, uh, you know, when he went down there last week and probably didn't get to practice much, had something to do with it. So all in all, I'm just excited that we won a game, get a chance to advance and and maybe starting to do some of the things we hadn't done like check better and not turn the ball over all right we'll take questions for the students please raise your hand start in the right front Brennan Shabath WDBM sports question for Marcus uh, you've been really good on the boards the past three games it seemed like something clicked in that Maryland game on Sunday at home what was it for you that has has made that turnaround uh, just getting challenged by my coaches, you know, uh, then getting back to the norm. You know, I think for like last 10 games and stuff, I was slacking on some in some of them areas. So you know, I just wanted to get it back, get it back right. All right, we'll go on the left hand side to Chris. Chris Solari, Detroit Free Press. Marcus, um, that stretch where you had, I think, 11 straight points. What? Does, are you kind of maybe feeling the senior itch to, or the, the light come on to, to kind of elevate things, particularly the offensive rebounding in that stretch as well? Uh, yeah. I mean, going into halftime, we didn't have any offensive rebounds. So, and then coach challenged me at halftime. So, uh, you know, just coming out with that energy and then, you know, try to prove him right, you know. So, and then, <clears throat> I'm sorry, uh, then. No, the team the team had did a hell of a job, you know, playing defense, you know, and then getting stops and rebounds and running. So, you know, that when we, when we got stops, you know, that that all tied into it. We'll go to the far right side, second row. Stephen Brooks, twenty four seven Sports. This questions for Tyson. Uh, Tyson, those last two shots you hit. Um, you've talked to us a few times about coming here, and part of this was to play in big time games and big environments. You're in a pro arena here. And that second one, I think, might have been one of the loudest moments of the night. You sort of clenched your fist. Could you just walk us through what you were feeling in that moment? Uh, it's just, as I said before, just everybody having faith in me to take those shots. And when I came off, I had that shot a couple times, and I rushed it. So when I came off this time, I was just patient and followed through and everything. It felt good. And the clenching the fist, it was just like me just being like uh, happy, really. Just happy for that moment. All right, we'll go to Kyle on the left-hand side. Yeah, Kyle Austin, MLive.com. Uh, another one for Tyson. Tyson, yesterday we were up here talking all about turnovers in the end of that Maryland game. What was you know last night and this morning like focusing on that and, and turning on seven turnovers today? Uh, we just know they're a team that doesn't turn the ball over, so that would be a big part of winning the game. And so we just want to take care of the ball as best we could. We had a couple turnovers early, then we kind of focused in on it, and we didn't have that many after that. Second row in the middle. Uh, Jared Ramsey with the State News. Uh, this question's for either of you. Can you just talk a little bit about um, the efforts from um, the team to slow down Johnny Davis, particularly Max? Tyson, you take that? Uh, <laughs> uh, we just wanted, every time he caught the ball, we just wanted to be in our gaps, uh, have six eyes on him, just make, make it tough for him because he's a heck of a player. He can make tough shots. So every shot he took, we wanted to be contested. 
and nothing, you don't want nothing easy for them. Take two more for the students, left hand side, towards the back. Oh, I'll take I it. thought you, I I thought you hand put up, your hand fine. up, sorry. Um, Tyson, you a couple times have had, you know, either game-winning shots or big shots at the end of games this season. I think one time you're like, I've taken that shot a million times, I knew it was going in. Another time you said, right when I was about to take that shot, I knew it was happening. Do you love that moment? Do you live for it? Because tonight you had two more of those. Uh, it's part of the reason why I came here, to take those shots. And, you know, coach, coach in those moments, he tells me to go get the ball. So just having him, having my back like that just makes it easier. And just knowing, like, I can make most of the shots I can take if I just lock in and focus on it. All right, we'll finish in the middle on the right-hand side for the students. Jamal Spencer from WZZM Grand Rapids. This one's for Marcus. Um, you mentioned that some, at points this season you've had your effort question as a reason for why you wouldn't be able to stay on the floor. 22 minutes tonight, the most that you've played in over two months. You know, what does it mean to you to be able to stay on the floor and be there for your teammates in tournament time? A lot. You know, uh, my teammates had my back. You know, throughout the whole the whole you know time, even even if even if they felt like I was doing something wrong, they know, I had my back. You know, clapping their hands and telling me, you know, I'm good and stuff like that. So you know, when when the team camaraderie is like that, you know, that makes everything easier. All right, you guys can head back to the locker room. Congratulations, and see you tomorrow. All right, we'll continue with questions for Coach Izzo. Please raise your hands. We'll start with Matt on the left hand side. Matt Charbonneau, Detroit News. Tom, you mentioned a little bit in the opening, but when you look at, obviously, the big game Marcus had and Tyson's big shots, when you look at that box score and see how much you got from so many guys, there were stretches when Joey made big shots, you know, some of the plays Max made. I mean, what does it mean to see now you're getting so much from so many guys, I think, when it matters most? It's very true. I, I, I thought Julius was really good early when we couldn't get anything out of Marky, you know, and... Uh, as you said, Max did some good things. Uh, you know, Gabe got some big rebounds. Everybody did something different. Um, we kind of, Jay Nakins came in there and played pretty good defense. So it was a lot of guys, and a couple guys struggled a little bit tonight. You know, Malik struggled for Malik. He's one of our best players. But all in all, I, I just, uh, I love the job. AJ did. AJ really did a lot of good things. And as you said, we sprinkled it around. Everybody did some good things. But Mark, you know, um, Mark deserves some credit, you know. I mean, there was a, a come to the big fella meeting at halftime with me and DJ, and we just, I mean, if he just keep his tail in that, in that post some, he's really an effective player. And, uh, and it helps him get some more rebounds, because if you're outside, you don't get them. And um, so we encouraged him to stay in there and, uh, did a hell of a job. He deserves a lot of credit. In the middle on the right side. Tom, again, Jamal Spencer, WZZM. Is that the best game that you've seen from Marcus Bingham in his time at Michigan State? It's the best second half. It's the best half I've seen. Um, you know, I don't know. I have to think about the game. But I wasn't really uh, doing somersaults back to the, to the uh, locker room in the first half. But the second half, um, I thought he was really – you know, he started out, we went to him, and uh, he, did a, he did a really good job. He did a pretty good job defensively. Um, he's not always coming out because he did something wrong. Uh, you know, I think one of the biggest problems is conditioning is a problem for him. But uh, I think he played through his second wind. And uh, you know what, I'm happy. I'm proud of him, but I'm happy for him. Um, the one thing about Marcus that my staff, we always say, you know, he could have left three times and uh, wouldn't have blamed him. But uh, he just kept coming back for more, and I'd sure like to see him end his career in a, in a serious positive note. We'll go to Jack in the middle on the left side. Jack Ebling, the drive and press pass. Tom, in the last 34 minutes and 45 seconds, your team had four turnovers. You had almost twice that many in two and a half minutes last night. Uh, how important was that to the win when a night when you go one for 11 from deep. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're talking about us. I mean, Wisconsin's a hell of a team, you know. Johnny Davis is, uh, is really good. I mean, we put a lot into him. We had bigs helping, we had guards helping, um, you know, and, and Davidson, you know, I mean, uh, a guy that I really do respect. I mean, he's, early on he was 
crazy like a fox, but I mean, I, I, I just loved how hard he plays, and I, and we couldn't stop him, but we did, we did do a pretty good job on Johnny, and I'm sure the injury had something to do with it. And so uh, I consider this a big, big win because I, I think if you look at Wisconsin, what is it? They won like 14 games in a row that five points or less. I mean, they don't make mistakes. They, we had seven turnovers and still didn't win the turnover battle because they had seven. Um, unbelievable job he's done there, and I think he's got a team that can move forward. They just got to get Johnny back to normal practicing, and uh, and I think at the same time, give us a little credit that we did our job too. We'll go to Chris on the left-hand side. Chris Solari, Detroit Free Press. Tom, um, you kind of mentioned the, the job that Max did tonight. Um, it seemed like he was on Davis quite a bit. Uh, how does he make that transition from being more assertive offensively and shooting the ball more last night to becoming more of a stopper? I don't think he took a three-pointer in the game. Yeah, I thought, I, you know, I even told him I thought he passed up a couple, but it wasn't like, you know, we, we, we felt like we had to go inside their perimeter defense. I mean, you know, one thing about Max, um, it's been a little bit of a tough year in him, but he draws the best. And we play Illinois Frazier's on him. You know, you play Purdue, their best defenders on him. We play Wisconsin, Brad Davis is on him. Um, and, and if you watched how they played him, they turned him down. They didn't let him get the ball. Uh, I, I thought, you know, for Max's future, he's proving that he can defend, he can rebound, he can make free throws. He does a lot of things. Everybody knows he can score the ball, and nobody more than me. Um, even though maybe it hasn't been quite that kind of a, especially last three weeks, but Max is still going to go off offensively. It, what's amazing is as a freshman, his stamina, he's able to do what he's able to do because he's running that lane. I'm even playing him at the point some to try to get him some shots, and he's, uh, he's also checking the best players every night. We'll finish up with Julian Darnell, left-hand side. Coach Julian Darnell, Big, T uh, Big Ten Network. Um, you used the word interesting to describe this season. And considering all the wins that you've had in March, I want to have that as the context of this question. With a win like this in advancing, is there a joy that comes with a win like this? Or is it more relief that you're moving on? Julian, as, all, as only you could do, that's a hell of a question. Um, and I'm going to answer it in a way that I just told Gene Cady. Uh, I spent some time with Gene just a few minutes ago. This was a joy. This was a joy. A normal year, it would have just been, let's move on. But we've been through a lot. And, uh, and my team kind of, the halftime with Mark, um, where we went a little old school on him, the defense that we played, uh, after not getting an offensive rebound and give you, Purdue deserves credit. That's what they did. I mean, Purdue, Wisconsin did a hell of a job uh, on the boards. Um, I thought we won it the way, you know, we needed to win it. And I still think we can get better offensively. I mean, I, I didn't think we did a good job. I think part of it was them. He probably feels the same way. And we'll talk about that, him and I. But uh, yeah, I, I felt some joy because I was happy that some guys came through and did the things they needed to. I was happy for AJ. I thought AJ did a lot of good things tonight. So uh, Joey, uh, you know, hitting that three was, you know, it was just, uh, and that corner jump shot he hit just came off there like, like I've been waiting for two years, you know? So maybe, maybe it takes a little longer, but maybe, uh, maybe we're coming together a little bit. Uh, we sure got our work cut out for us now, because no matter who we play, uh, you know, Matt's done such an incredible job, and and uh, Micah has he's becoming one of my favorite coaches in the league. The way his teams play, so the only one in trouble is Katie, since they're both kind of Purdue uh, disciples of his. All right, coach. Thank you. Thanks. All right.